Today I'm going to be talking all about hepatitis A symptoms, you know, what this ailment really is, ideas on, on preventing it, treating it. Now before I begin, down below you'll notice there's a link and if you click on this link in the YouTube description I'm giving away a free video based guide on using various supplements and, and herbal remedies. Now hepatitis A is a, a viral infection uh, that's goal is to harm your liver. Uh, I like to call this the poop virus. The reason why is a very common way someone gets the virus is due to eating contaminated food or drinking water that's been contaminated with some, some poop. Somebody didn't wash their hands and made some food or even the water that's not filtered right can have it. Now what's very fascinating about the symptoms of hepatitis A is that it usually it doesn't even become noticeable to a person until around two or six weeks. That's according to the CDC in America. Now a person experienced uh, some symptoms would be unusual fatigue, nausea, loss of appetite, there could be pain in the lower right side of somebody's stomach, and you have any idea why there's pain in that part or what's located there? Yeah, that's the liver. Since that's what it does, it harms the liver. Uh, there can be some muscle discomforts, fever, and as the liver doesn't do its job properly, more issues can, can spring about. And remember, the liver is all about you know, helping cleaning the blood and detoxing and stuff. So, one of the things it's supposed to do is remove something called bilirubin from the blood. Now, this is just a bilirubin is a byproduct of breaking down calories into usable energy, almost like smog is a byproduct of burning fossil fuels to create energy and to move automobiles. Now, bilirubin gives pee that yellowish color as well as is poop that, that brownish color. So if the liver doesn't do its job from hepatitis A, then too much bilirubin can build up in somebody's blood. And if there's too much of this stuff, it's going to make the, uh, the color of your someone's skin more yellowish. The eyes can be more yellowish. And uh, it can also change the color of pee, make it a little bit darker, and even change the color of poop. And uh, looking at your poop in general is actually pretty interesting because you can learn a lot about your whole uh, health and digestive system through poop. So there you go. Now, another thing which is really fascinating too about your digestive system, love topic, but if somebody has constipation, and they don't uh, get rid of the, the crap inside of them. Uh, it can actually uh, build up somebody's skin, and an odor can come from somebody's skin, which is pretty nasty. But I just learned that. I thought that was kind of interesting. So, yeah, don't, don't want to be constipated, right? So, anyways. Now, it's also possible someone can have hepatitis A and not experience any symptoms. This is why the only way to, to, to really know is to get a test by a professional, medical professional. The cool thing is that, uh, that once somebody has been infected with hepatitis A, uh, their system builds up an immunity to it, so they're probably not going to get it again. Almost like when you have the chicken pox when you're young, you're probably not going to get the chicken pox when you get older because your immune system gets smart, which is great. Uh, okay. More good news is that a lot of health experts feel that this version of hepatitis is the least dangerous one. So they have like hepatitis B, C, D, a bunch of other types. This one's uh, the least dangerous, according to the CDC. Um, almost all the people that get it, and they recover fully. They don't experience any major liver damage, harm. Uh, the bad news is, well, it can make somebody feel sick and not very pleasant for a while. Uh, this all depends on their immune system digestive health and it is true someone can experience uh, some liver failure and even death but it's pretty rare okay uh, the, the way to not get hepatitis A would be of course to take the vaccine the vast if I pronounce that right <laughs> vaccine okay there you go and uh, it was actually developed in the 1990s it's great and uh, of course be careful about what you eat and what you drink uh, next up, it doesn't really hurt to make your immune system stronger and improve your digestive health and, of course, to build up your immune system. Just 
wash your hands, drink lots of fluid, get your rest. There's also tons of uh, supplements and herbal medicine that can really boost your system up to fight off these unwanted, unwanted uh, germs and bugs. Um, and for your digestive health, uh, eating more fruits and vegetables actually has enzymes that help in breaking down food, which is really great. It helps your digestive system. There's also uh, pre something called prebiotics, which stimulates the growth of good bacteria and, and it's probiotics. The stuff in yogurt, you might have heard of probiotics. Now, the difference is that probiotics is actually man-made and prebiotics is more natural. It comes from like the skin of kiwis and some other fruits. And um, if you're wondering which one is better, prebiotics is a lot better. Another great way to get prebiotics is through like a dietary supplement, which I highly recommend. And you can also get a lot of herbs there and good vitamins. So, also what I highly recommend is before you do go out and buy a bunch of supplements because the industry is very unregulated in many, many countries. This means that companies are supposed to police themselves and really makes the risk of buying these products more higher because there's not a whole bunch of oversight. And you better protect yourself. Like I mentioned, I have this guide which can give you some tips on what to look for in supplements and herbal medicines. It talks about alternative medicine. And it's a lot of fun. And the great thing is it's completely free, so you don't have a whole lot to lose by checking it out. And you can learn more about this free guide I made by just simply clicking the link uh, below the video I, I created for you. And I uh, hope the video is somewhat helpful. I've gone on a little bit too long here. But uh, thank you so much for watching it. Uh, please leave a comment with any thoughts you may have. And until next time, take care. Bye.